just let loose and revealed the evil reason players are kneeling. Newt Gingrich is a straight shooter. He only shoots one direction and that's straight. Former House Speaker Newt Gingrich, Arga, attacked the NFL kneelers. He let loose then he went in. He announced the real, secret reason behind the anthem protesters. Newt had some great lines. I don't tune into, sports, to worry about politics, he said. They're not exactly oppressed, he took a shot at Colin Kaepernick. Don't impose on me your sense of somehow, you feel oppressed, Gingrich said. If you're a multimillionaire who feels oppressed, you need a therapist, and, not a publicity stunt. But he is right. The point of this is to remove the national anthem from sports. It's sickening. They are going to be tempted to remove anthems from all sports leagues. Share this everywhere. We cannot let the left win this culture war. Our national anthem is sacred and we must remain one country under God. Amen. After protesting national anthem this weekend, Trump just gave NFL the worst news ever today. On Friday, President Trump lashed out at NFL players protesting the national anthem on Friday. On Sunday, 200 NFL players knelt down we have all been watching it in amazement and disgust here at Liberty Riders. Watch the Patriots get booed in the video below. It's an amazing thing to watch. Americans reacted to the controversy by boycotting the entire NFL league and the numbers are in. Early numbers now show the NFL ratings down by 10%. According to Deadline, the primetime matchup between 27-10 with the Washington Redskins and the Oakland Raiders snaring an 11.620. This is the worst that a game has performed the entire system. It's an 8% dip from the early numbers of last week's Atlanta Falcons 34-23 win over the Green Bay Packers. That means that people totally didn't watch the game. Are you gonna stop watching NFL? Sound off below in the comments. Share this if you are tired of people boycotting our national anthem, Patriots. This has got to stop now. Hours after Steelers left during Anthem, Roth Lisberger did what coach begged them not to do. There are a lot of angry Steelers fans out there right now. Videos all over the internet show people burning jerseys and hats and everything you can imagine. After all, the Steelers chose to leave the field entirely during the National Anthem to show unity. Even their favorite quarterback Ben Roth Lisberger joined their protest. However, it looks like what happened did not sit well with the QB and now he is doing exactly what his coach begged him not to do. Roth Lisberger wrote on his site that he believes that nobody should kneel or stay in the tunnel for the national anthem and that he couldn't even sleep that night know what he had done. He went on to say he thinks protests in favor of equality and all that are fine, but the anthem is a sign of respect for people who have lost life and limb for this nation and it is not the time for any protests. Of course, there is no way coach Mike Tomlin is gonna be happy about this. He reportedly was furious at player Violon Weva, an Army Ranger, for defying him and standing on the field for the national anthem. If you all think more NFL players should come out in favor of honoring our troops and country, then share this out and let them know what it means to us. Right after reporter called Trump racist, Sarah Huckabee turned to them and unleashed hell. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders defended Donald Trump on Monday after spending the weekend attacking NFL football players that refused to stand for our wonderful national anthem. During a Monday White House press briefing, Sanders backed up Trump 1005 and said that he was standing for the nation. Watch the epic moment below. The two reporters noted that Trump had referred to a player as a song of a bitch at a rally. This isn't about the president being against anyone, this is about the president and millions of Americans being for something, Sanders repeated. I think it's always appropriate. This isn't about the president being against anyone, 
this is about the president and millions of Americans being for something, Sanders shut them down with. I think it's always appropriate of the President of the United States to defend our flag, to defend our national anthem and to defend the men and women who died to defend them. Share this if you stand with our President against these NFL ingrates. Let's stand behind our President and our country. This is how we make America great again. The minute the Dallas Cowboys took a knee tonight, all hell broke loose. The Dallas Cowboys kneeled before the national anthem before their Monday game against the Arizona Cardinals. They capped off the weekend that had more than 200 players kneel down. Owner Jerry Jones stood in the middle of the field and knelt with the rest of the team as the anthem was sung. Watch what happens the moment they do it, though. Ahahaha! The crowd erupted in boos. That was wonderful to watch. That's right, y'all. America is officially tired of people kneeling. Singer Jordan Sparks sang the Star Spangled Banner to the cheering crowd. This has gotten totally ridiculous. Share this if you are tired of teams standing in solidarity of nothing. It's our national anthem and people fought and died for it. The NFL could put a stop to this but they won't. That says a lot about them. This man just risked everything to leak awful truth NFL doesn't want Americans to know. Stuart Varney has now joined Fox and Friends on Monday to talk about the NFL national anthem controversy. This Sunday, 200 NFL players and staff knelt down to protest the national anthem. Varney reminded the entire Fox and Friends nation that the NFL stadium has collected $1 billion in federal subsidies. That's horrible. Watch him below. Stuart Varney, there's $1.1 billion in direct subsidies from taxpayers to the NFL. Taxpayer subsidies go to the building of stadiums. There have been 20 new NFL stadiums since 1997. All of them have received a degree of taxpayer subsidies. Wow! They don't respect the country, yet all these NFL teams use taxpayer funds to build their massive stadiums. According to Fox Sports, the American public has spent $7 billion to build and renovate NFL stadiums over the last 20 years. The U.S. taxpayer often pays 46% of the cost to build these projects. It's time to cut them off. Share this if you agree. The NFL doesn't respect us. Why should we respect them? God bless this country and all those that have died and fought for it. Governor of Puerto Rico begged for help, what Trump gave him seconds ago is unbelievable. Puerto Rico's Governor Ricardo Rosello called on the Pentagon yesterday for more search and rescue help and humanitarian resources help to the island which has faced complete devastation from Hurricane Maria. We need more resources from the Department of Defense so we can get helicopters and resources, Rosello told Politico. We know that there are capabilities in the surrounding areas, helicopters, planes and so forth, he said. And our petition is for us to be able to use them. Here is the governor before the hurricane. It was a deadly storm in Puerto Rico. The island has been totally devastated. Then today, Donald Trump swept in to save the day. The media is already trying to attack our president. Here is the Google search for news about President Trump and Puerto Rico. CC. Trump's administration has sent a strong response. The Federal Emergency Management Agency said that 10,000 federal employees have gone to Puerto Rico. The Coast Guard has sent 13 ships and barges are arriving with relief supplies. The problem is that the ports have been very damaged. Share this if are praying for the people of Puerto Rico. You can help them by clicking the following link and donating to United for Puerto Rico here. Share this everywhere to help out the people that are facing an apocalypse now.